Got Mayor Palmieri on the line yes. with us uh, right now and uh, joined by Mike Galini, the Utica Common Council president, newly elected. Yeah, put those headphones on so you can hear the mayor and greet the mayor as we bring him onto the show. Mayor Palmieri, how are you? Happy morning. New Year. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. President. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, listen, I'm doing well. All right, great. Great. Well, we've been discussing uh, last night's meeting there and uh, the focus on the Hotel Utica situation. And also we had the comptroller on the show yesterday, Mr. Morehouse, sort of uh, drawing the line from the Hotel Utica project to the potential downtown location for the hospital as well. Uh, exciting prospects there. Uh, obviously, uh, still have lots to go before we get there. Well, obviously, uh, we're, we're making strides. I think if you look just at the Hotel Utica uh, maybe years ago, if you had uh, a major event like this coming, maybe the outcome wouldn't have been as productive as it was last night. Uh, you had to have a willing, able uh, partner with uh, the new buyer, uh, the bank, uh, the mayor, the comptroller, the members of the Common Council to make this happen. Uh, and I think maybe o over the past you wouldn't have had that type of collaboration over an issue so sensitive and so dear to the hearts of all the residents out there. So I think that shows that we've come a long way uh, and, and we're not the same city that we were over a decade ago. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a little kudos here, Mayor. I'm wondering if you rested a little bit easier over the past a few nights. I know the conversation and uh, maybe a little bit pressure on you for the idea of looking for a new buyer for the hotel over uh, quite some time. People are asking, you know, who could it be, who it might be uh, when your efforts were uh, ongoing there. But I think uh, as we look at, at the potential uh, buyer for this hotel, it's Definitely the right fit. And now, um, you know, with uh, Common Council President uh, newly elect here, uh, Mike Galimi and the council yesterday giving the okay, uh, passing that on to uh, Mr. Morehouse to allow him to make his changes and uh, go forward with this sale. Uh, what is the next step for you, and how do you feel about it? Well, you know, it, it's been four long years uh, with Hotel Utica, um, and, and we've had a multiple of different developers looking at it. And, and each time we would get so close but never be able to go over the, uh, the finish line. And uh, Andy Patel and, and uh, Hotel Visions is, quite frankly, invested into this area, uh, believes in this area. And uh, as everyone, uh, there's some type of risk going into it. And obviously he's looking return on the investment. And his return on the investment is he feels very confident in the city of Utica and where we're headed. Uh, I think last night was a great representation of a, everyone coming together. Uh, and I think uh, as we talk about the future development of Utica, uh, as I've always said uh, for my last four years, uh, my ultimate goal, uh, and I'm sure the members of the Common Council and everyone else, is we want to be the best little city in America. Mm -hmm. Happy with the committees that have been formed here as well? Uh, to be quite frank with you, I have not even looked at them. I don't know who is with them or whatever. I don't think they voted on them. At the end of the day, uh, the committee structure is I have to work with nine members of the Common Council and the president of the Common Council. So whomever the committee may be, uh, if they have thoughts or, or they're looking for questions to be answered, uh, this, this office is always, my administration has been very open and transparent, and we'll do that. Um, and again, I just got to reflect over last night. Uh, it could have gone a, a lot different than it did in, in over the past maybe uh, multiple years. It may have been different, but I think last night you saw uh, with new members of the Common Council and some veterans, uh, their first time out of the gate, uh, that was kind of a, 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 a major, major, major vote that had to be put, and my hat goes off to uh, the president of the Common Council and the members of the Common Council. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I, I, I congratulated you here uh, early on, Mayor. I'm not going to shoot you down, but just uh, what if a scenario, uh, we, we talked about this with uh, Mike a little bit earlier in the segment, um, the potential buyer backs out. Now the city uh, holds the assets, basically, of the hotel. What would be the next step going forward? There? Well, again, um, this administration from day one has never had an easy road. You know, everything we've tackled has been... Uh, very difficult decisions, and we've come together and made those decisions. Uh, we would handle it the same way uh, that we've handled everything. We would look at all the facts and where we go for that. Uh, again, let's be quite frank. If foreclosure ever did come to be, they already have their attorneys for bankruptcy. So it wouldn't be in our hands as much as we would like. We would not receive the taxes that we are. We still would continue to pay for the Section 108 loans. 
Uh, there would be obviously a loss of um, revenue uh, from sales tax and also from employees. Uh, so we would do whatever we would have to do to make sure uh, that we could help maintain it. Listen, we are a administration that we're trying to make uh, the city open for business and, and user-friendly for businesses, which we have accomplished. So uh, I think uh, with Andy Patel coming back for the second time is a great indication that Mr. Patel, for some unforeseen reason, will be the developer of that, uh, and you'll see infusion right off the bat of some millions of dollars, and I think over the period of a number of years, you'll see that become a flagship within uh, you know, five to six years. Yeah, Mr. Morehouse, yesterday on our show telling us, of course, the um, deadline for foreclosing has been extended a little bit. Do you see it won't get to that point? Probably. What are the chances? Oh, the, the bottom line is, obviously, the last night's vote is the indication that's where we're going. Right. So, I mean, um, the city of Utica, uh, the, the comptroller, members of the Common Council, we did everything we can within our hands. Uh, again, let's not let's make it very clear. Uh, we are not the owner of this, or are we the purchasee of this? Uh, so there's only so much we could do. We could only make the environment as, as amenable as possible. We have done that. Uh, we have reached out. Uh, again, this is not a good scenario really for everyone, but this is the best-case scenario for the residents and the taxpayers of the city uh, to infuse millions of dollars into it, to get somebody, like we've all said, uh, that is vested into that, that has a, a, a keen knowledge of hotel management and that he just opened up a multi-million dollar facility on North Genesee Street and he's willing to put uh, millions of dollars into it, uh, bodes well for the city of Utica. Utica Mayor Rob Palmieri on the phone at 100.7 FM WUTQ and Mike Galimi, the newly elected Common Council President, joining us in studio today. And I think uh, Mr. Morehouse put it in perspective uh, yesterday in, in a, a, a good way, a way that maybe we can understand a little bit easier if you don't follow the process so much. But he, he kind of laid it out as, as to uh, say your son or your daughter uh, goes to buy a car, asks you to co-sign a loan, and then doesn't pay on those payments. You are still uh, you know liable to make those payments, and uh, that is really what's going on here. So I know that was some of the questions that were uh, thrown around last night. And, uh, you know, Mike uh, answered some of those questions that were asked uh, at the Common Council meeting. Uh, I know one of them, and uh, either one of you can jump in. One of the other questions that we didn't get into is the current owner. Uh, will they make any money off this sale? Well, again, I, I will tell you at this point you know, that that's confidentiality between the buyer um, and, and, and the seller. Uh, I will tell you that uh, no one's making money on this uh, and as I said from the onset at this point, it, it was a, a great collaboration with the Bank of Utica, uh, with Andy Patel, and uh, with the members of the Common Council, the mayor, to put this together. Uh, no one is coming out of here uh, feeling good, but we we're feeling much better than if it went bankrupt and that we are all holding the bag again. Um, uh, you're, you're asking me a, a scenario. I'm telling you from what I understand um, – there's not going to be any money uh, going through uh, the bank at all at this at this scenario. So, all right, let's break this down, and either one of you can jump in if I have something wrong here. Uh, at the end of the day, we recoup some taxes from the hotel. Uh, with a potential new buyer, we get the hotel back on the tax roll. We finish paying our loans uh, through 2020, and then we're able to take that CDBG money and use it for uh, other projects. You got it right on right on target. Correct. Correct. Awesome. All right. Uh, Mayor, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Anytime. It's my pleasure. And, you know, when I try to call in, don't block me up. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, what was going on? Uh, yeah. And, uh, that was Jay. Yeah, it was me. Uh, oh, Mayor. Eh. And uh, by the way, poll question this week, which NFL playoff team are you supporting? No New York teams left. Are you throwing support to anyone else? Well, you know what? I, my chief of staff is a Kansas City guy. Mm -hmm. He loves them. Yeah. And I hope that they do well. I really don't have any horses in the race at this point. <laughs> I'd like to see, listen, for, for, the, for the NFL, I'd like to see one of the teams that haven't been there. Uh, I think Caroline has done a great job. Mm -hmm. I think Cam Newton. And, uh, you know, hopefully next year the Giants will uh, be able to uh, get to a different level. But uh, mm -hmm. it, it was a real sad year for me, <laughs> for me sure. as a Giant. And even, you know, watching the Jets uh, having the, the ability to be into the playoffs, and they didn't do it. And Buffalo – 
uh, you know, uh, again, it would have been nice to have one of the three teams at this point representing New York State. Right. right. And for nothing less than uh, being a KC fan, give Sonny, your chief of staff, a kick in the pants for me just because there. Oh, I'd love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, uh, Kevin Revere's a big Chiefs fan, too, the uh, 911 guy. There's two in the United County. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, May. Appreciate it. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you, guys. All this right. is later.